Good morning. Coffee with Pegasus. Hope everybody had a good 4th of July if you're in America. And if you're not in America, I still hope you had a good July 4th. How about that? Oh, today, let's talk about dreams. A very touchy subject, dreams. How do we know what is a dream? How do we know what is astral? How do we know what is an OBE? Well, depending on who you talk to, you might get a bit of a different answer. Me, oh, uh, astral is vivid color. It is very, so very sharp, it, it's just unbelievable. Um, OBE tends to be more black and white mildly hazy typically not very clear but the images are there I can make out what they are and sometimes I can even see the numbers and symbols on a deck of cards though not all the time a dream to me is both black and white some things are uh, black and white and some things are color now mustache giving me hell this morning things that are important that are sticking out that I'm supposed to pay attention to in these funky weird ass screwed up dreams are color not vivid but color <clears throat> things that are just a part of the dream part of the surrounding and part of the background are black and white and I've had a lot of people that have kind of conferred that with their dreams so, that being said, what do we get from our dreams? Where do they come from? Well, <clears throat> nobody really truly knows. There's no scientific uh, answer. There are a lot of theories. I have my own theories personally I feel like dreams come from a combination of outside cast if any internal cast magic stress environmental stress anxieties um, or you know you may be having a problem with your conscience something that something you feel you've done maybe you shouldn't have done and your conscience is working on you so that comes in as a dream I typically find those as just straight black and white. They just screw with your head. They really make absolutely no sense whatsoever. And they just tend to swirl around. Um, one of my dreams last night had some areas in it that was uh, very colorful and some areas in it that were black and white. So I took from that. I ended up in Asheville sitting before council and I now know what to do with it. <laughs> yeah. And there are um, wet dreams, as we've talked about before. Uh, wet dreams are a form of sexual fantasy where we wake up with the uh, feeling, maybe not always signs, but the feeling that we've actually truly been there. Um, I find that more of a form of OBE than dream because you, you wake up with a feel of uh, physical interactivity with another human being whether it's a fight an argument a um, uh, sexual encounter um, a trip long trip heavy heavy travel wake up fatigued I mean so I tend to try uh, very hard personally not to confuse the three forms of meditative stroke sleep states now there are a lot of people that experience deja vu. Deja vu is put off to dreams. Well, it's, it's not really dreams, it's more of a form of an OBE. You project your consciousness to some place you want to be so that you can see what it is or what it's about. Uh, deja vu can also be something that is, you were, you, you've seen maybe in a blip, a vision of a sort and then you come in to relive that dream or relive that vision uh, what have you 
So, dreams are, are very funny creatures. Um, when I do dream interpretation, I have the um, I have the dreamer do their own interpretation. I just help them figure out how to get the answers to the question. I don't typically tell people, okay, uh, you dreamed of a snake, therefore you're going to get bit by a snake. I, I don't believe that at all. Um, some of your dream interpretation books work for a lot of people. Uh, I have a really good friend of mine that dream interpretation books seem to really work good for her. Me? Ha! <laughs> Useless. So, when people come to me for dream interpretation, I ask them for a small, um, a small write-up of the pieces of the dream that stuck out to them. You know, the, the colorful parts of the dream are the parts of the dream that you really actually uh, remember. Those are going to be parts that are very important to you. So, when you dream, like I say, in my uh, theory, and more and more scientists, I guess you could say, are starting to adopt these types of theories, that dreams are very heavily brought forward by uh, environmental, sociological, social, um, emotional, physical problem. Um, you, your entire global environment affects your dreams. The barometric pressure outside, the weather, is it too cold, is it too hot? All of these things affect the dream state of a human being. You'll hear dreamscape referred to. Dreamscape is also a form of astral uh, astral travel. Uh, dreamscape, certain forms of dreamscape is also considered OBE. Dreamscape, the term, has been out for well over a hundred and something years is what they called it before they understood the difference between astral OBE and just a simple dream. Now, do I believe there's any such thing as a simple dream? No. Do I believe there are dreams that mean absolutely nothing? They're just simply caused by the environment? Of course. There are always different types of things that are going to cause you to have dreams of one weird thing or another or one type thing or another. So, that being said, don't put a whole lot of stock in your dreams and don't let them really get to you. Now, if you're the type of person that dreams of an accident, and usually within three days of that dream, something happens, you need to take a look at these and see what's color, what's not. You need to start a dream journal. Those are very important. Of things that you dream, and they dream to the point where they wake you up, program your head to when you have a dream to the point where it wakes you up get up turn on the light or if you've got a mate go into the bathroom or something and grab your dream journal and and jot down that dream and write it down um, <clears throat> things that are in vivid color uh, put them in parentheses um, I tell people in your dream journals put it in parentheses and across the top right in in color and then put that part in there that's in color and then when it leaves color close the parentheses and just continue writing on the rest of the dream what this does is this kind of helps you go through and pick out the things that are in color and the things that are in black and white and it also helps you understand the dream better because uh, a couple of years back I, I had a friend of mine come to me just totally completely in tears she was completely messed up she had had a dream that her sister was killed in an accident well her mind had superimposed the individual in the vehicle with her sister because well she knows her sister the sister was no way planning on a trip she didn't take a trip that day but another friend of hers that was just an acquaintance did take a trip and was killed in an accident. So you need to look past that. Is your uh, sibling, for lack of a better term, your sibling or mate that you're seeing in the vehicle, are they black and white? Are they color? Is the vehicle color? Is the vehicle it connects with color? Are they showing you road signs? Such as when I lived down south there was Interstate 10. 
are they showing you uh, an interstate sign that's in color that's in vivid color um, if the person in the vehicle is in full color but the vehicle is in gray or black and white but there's an accident and the person in the vehicle is hurt I see the accident as a perpetual or a, a uh, propellant if you will for what's to come in other words the individual that you see in the car is going to be in a type of accident where they're going to get hurt and your mind uses an automotive accident because well it's easier to understand than an oil rig or a tugboat or you know something like this oil field if you would um, take this into account when you're doing dream interpretation what color and what's not and again this is this is my experience and, and it's been my uh, theory on dream interpretation so just because somebody tells you that they saw a pack of snakes and there was a bag of fish sitting in the pack of snakes and around that was a bunch of people sitting around a fire well what was in color what stood out to you well nothing okay don't worry about it that, that uh, that's my thought on it you know I, it you need to look at with inside yourself and find out why you're dreaming about fish and snakes and people sitting around a fire. Um, that's even weird for my dreams. Wow, where'd that come from? Anyway. Uh, damn, not a whole lot else. Not a whole lot else can be said about dreams, really. I mean, I, I can go on with different types of interpretations, but that's not what these videos are about. I could go on with different types of ideologies of dreams and history, but come on guys, you can look that up yourself, right? Can't you? Research for yourself, right? Yeah, no? Damn. Um, anyway, I had to put that in there. Also, one last thing on a closing note. When you're dreaming and, you know, you find yourself in a dream state, don't let your conscience get to you because if you're having a fantasy or, or something like that um, conscious and the real world have nothing to do with your dreams and your fantasy enjoy your dreams and your fantasy be who you are in this in this world of dreams and OBE and astral that's your world you know, I've always said, the federal government can take away everything you want. <clears throat> the federal government can even take your mate and your children from you. The federal government has given themselves that power to do so. But they cannot take away your dreams, your hopes, your wishes, your wishes, your wishes, yeah, nah. They cannot take away your wishes and your hopes. They can't take away your magic. They cannot take away your faith, and they cannot take away your astral and OBE. They cannot take away anything that is personally within you unless you let them have it. That being said, I'm going to send you on to have a wonderful day. Thank you for joining Coffee with Pegasus, and as always, leave your comments in the area below or drop me an email. I'm always open for ideas of new videos, guys. Come on, let's have a little fun with us. Enjoy your dreams.